I know you. It's mainly just you on your channel. Do you want to like ever do yeah. collabs with guests or anything like that? I do, but I get it. Maybe that's just me being. Seen. I'm I'm picky because I, I have noticed. You know, even there's people I like, like you, or, or like I have a a friend named Austin Burke. He also has a YouTube channel. I know. I, I know about, Austin. You know, our heavy spoilers, Kevin. But like, I noticed with those collab videos. The retention isn't there. They'll they'll severely go down just because it's like inviting a new person in bed. They just don't like it or something. And hmm. so like I get I get real picky about bringing people on my channel. But I I, I want to I want to because I think it's fun. So you're not gonna invite me on your channel? Is what you're telling me? Not right? a chance, <laughs> Greg. <laughs> John maybe. John maybe. Maybe John. <laughs> but I'm not Greg. <laughs>
that kind of ruins how fast I put out a video because you know in the in the news <laughs> game you have to be quick if you want views on that and stuff. Luckily, I've gotten to a spot now where like I don't have to be the first one. I'll I'll still have people watch me. Thankfully, yeah, that, that cocky son just of a bitch. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't need I, to be I'm first. <laughs> I don't need to be first, but anyway. <laughs> Do you have one that you would say is your personal favorite or like top three favorite intros? Yeah, I did a Spider-Man one. Maybe I'll send it to you after all, all this is done so you can look at it. But it was one. You remember the scene in Spider-Man uh, 2 where he's like shooting webs to, to like stop the train and slow it down? <laughs> ah, what a beautiful morning, man. Oh, spider man saving a train. That's good for him. What is he? Oh! I laughed so hard at that. It's probably so dumb that I laughed at my own intro, but when I made that, I was so proud. <laughs> I, I I think your intros genuinely are like that's a big part of what makes what makes your videos shine so much. I feel like those but are the, often more commented than your actual the rest of your video. A lot of time, yeah. No, yeah. Some people say they come just to see the intro, but it's the curse part where it's like if I can't think of anything funny, I don't want to force it or just do something bottom line or feels not funny. So sometimes I'll have a video just happen, like today with a DC one where I have no idea what to do, so I just just regular hey guys, how's it going? And then I'll get hundreds of comments disappointed i didn't have a funny intro and i'm just like i didn't have an idea guys i think there's a lot that we can talk about that only i feel like other people who do youtube could really identify yeah. with i feel like we'll probably get into some heavy stuff but then you know we'll keep it <laughs> we'll keep it fairly light i honestly didn't prep any questions i feel like i can just talk with you no yeah oh thanks man yeah now I'll, I'll just freely answer here but yeah there, there's a lot of stuff like uh you were talking uh, about paul heavy spoilers and all that. I, I also uh, message him all the time and we just talk about things that only YouTubers would understand with the stress of the job or making content. Like today with mm -hmm. them announcing new DC fandom, it's like, that's awesome. That's going to be a hell of a day, though, for us creators, just because <laughs> they release like four trailers, and these posters, they announce this movie. And uh, you just have to post video after video. And, you know, like after three videos, YouTube just stops uh, notifying your audience or whatever. And so it's just like, if they show up, they show up. What I find is very common, I guess I'm going for the jugular right here. What I find is very <laughs> common with YouTubers, especially ones that I get to know over time, is that there's an issue with comparing yourself to other people. Yeah. And, I, as, and I think it's because it's so easy to... It's like before we hopped on the stream, uh, I mean, this, uh, whatever we're doing, uh, we're out on this. we were talking about like, oh, we're big enough for your channel. But I'm like, oh, but dude, no, like, like it, since December, the real rejects has been great. But this we're shooting this on April 28th. And this has easily been my most underperforming week in like the last four months. Like it's been like, oh, wow. and I feel like sometimes my emotions are based off of how well my last video did <laughs> nope. i am the same way if i brought up uh, my girlfriend she could test to you if i'm having a good or bad week on youtube because it, it relies on my mood and how i feel if i'm having like i think i just went on a four day streak of not posting any videos because there just wasn't any news or anything to talk about and i just like i just end up staring at the wall like you're gonna lose it they're gonna disappear on you you're not going to have anybody left. And I just, I <laughs> crumble myself in that state. And then when I get something to talk about, it's like my mood changes and I'm happy for that day until I have to post another video. I admire that about what your channel does. A lot of, a lot of people Thanks. I watch, I feel like there's such a re reliability, like with, with you. I like, I know that when I turn on your video, it's going to be a damn good video. Oh. Do, you, do, you, do, you, do, you, do you script all your content or is it all, I, or is it I, or I don't, at all? I don't, I respect people who, who script it and write it down and plan it out ahead of time. But um, a lot of stuff is just like, well, I obviously like read the article or whatever the news is about and do some extra research if I could think of it, but most of the time it's just off the top of my head what I'm thinking about. And I wow, just it on there. really? Yeah. You, so, yeah, you guys script Wait, sometimes. it's it's so, <laughs> I don't script, uh, obviously. I mean, with, with, the, with what we have to do, <laughs> mainly, it's no, like, but, like I don't sometimes script. Sometimes you just like do a video, like didn't you for like the new Son of Kong movie that they're coming out with, you guys just sat there and talked? No, I mean, sometimes we have like bullet points we want to hit, which is okay. rare. Yeah. I think that helps when you're like making chapters and stuff in your video. But I thought for you, for sure, you'd at least like have an outline for what you're going to cover because of how you how your, your videos are structured so well. Oh, you don't even outline your videos or are you just kind of going off the dome? No, I think I've just done it so much where like I just have a general outline in my mind of what I'm going to say and, and do that I just 
I swear, not that, not to be cocky or anything, <laughs> but yeah, that, that, it, sometimes it just it just flows out, you know. That's imp- <laughs> I'm, I don't mean to keep no, this is the stop. most self indulgent <laughs> pretentious <laughs> conversation. Two YouTubers talking about the struggles of being a YouTuber right now. <laughs> Seriously though, I I actually think that is really impressive because your videos have such a great structure to them. I imagine you got to at least like. When you're at, okay, let me ask you this: when you when you edit it, is it is that the linear order of how you filmed it, or are you oh, rearranging yeah. your clips? No, that, that, that is so wild to me. What? Is it really yeah. that impressive? <laughs> yeah, that's because they're like a perfect structure. Oh, <laughs> like thanks, I'll watch man. the whole, like because <laughs> YouTube is based so much off of watch time. It's really easy for me to at least watch forty five to fifty percent of your video. <laughs> like it's really oh, easy for thanks. me to, to hit that mark. <laughs> It's like for for trailer reactions for us. Most people, more than half of the audience, will actually click off after uh, the same, reaction is done. Yeah, they don't stick around for those two or three minutes of you like, so that was a good trailer. I kind of like this part, or they don't stick around for that. <laughs> no, and that affects like the the recommend. Yeah. Like for for Conjuring Three, it's like we talked for like ten minutes after the reaction. And, oh wow. And then people say all we do is react, uh, and I'm like, but no, but you you stop the video. <laughs> but I notice like our watch time increases if we like when we cover your videos and when we pause and play, like actually oh, mixing wow. in the commentary in between. But back to what I was saying before, do you do you have an do you struggle at all with like comparing yourself to others? Because that seems oh, to be my general yeah. that's my general problem that I have these days. Yeah. Is, I mean, I'll admit it. It's probably others who do it as well. But I do my weekly checkup on competitor slash friends you know like uh hmm. you guys uh heavy spoilers um other channels out there that i think do news as well i'll i'll do my weekly like what videos did they post how many views did they get and then i'll hurt myself if i didn't decide to talk on that topic or anything like that but it used to be way more toxic in the beginning because especially i wasn't getting views no one was watching me and i was just so angry i was like why aren't they watching me I, i'm funny i'm just as good as these guys out there <laughs> <laughs> but um I, I, you just have to let that go you can put yourself in a dark place really comparing yourself or, or saying you're not good enough whatever and just have to learn to to, to just know what you're good at and not because i i used to do ending explains a lot where you know a horror mm-hmm. movie would come out i'd do an ending explain and stuff like that and that's how i got in contact with like heavy spoilers because we both were doing it at the same time and i would beat him once and then he beat me and then i don't know what happened he perfected the game and shot up way up high and i was just down here never reaching the views that he did i just was like i'm not good at this he can keep doing it i'm gonna shift my focus and i can't get mad at, at, at other creators either that's one thing where it's like even though i compare myself i never want to hate or be that secret disliker on a channel because <laughs> that's that's not good <laughs> I, if anything i feel like i'll get bad karma from that i feel like um you know something bad will happen to my video or something that's a great call because uh i i i don't think i've ever I might have done it once in my life, but I don't even know what it was. I don't think I've ever hit the dislike button on anyone's video. I mean, I did I'm it early so- on. I uh, I was a, I was a dislike early on. <laughs> like, wait, first, you, oh, come on, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm not perfect. I was a disliker. But I, think, uh, I was a disliker. <laughs> I was a disliker. <laughs> but it was always jealousy. Or, or more or not, it was the extremely clickbaity people that promised something in the hmm. title or thumbnail and didn't deliver and got tons of views and i'm just like how are they getting away with this is there like a specific type of criticism or hate comment that you'll get that will really that kind of seems to like provoke you on a, on a subconscious level is there you know, any like I, that i'll get i'll get comments you know that the general oh you're fat you're not funny or um i don't i don't know some or like why do you have all these toys aren't you an adult in your mama's basement or something those don't bother me it's it's like the comments where they actually give constructive criticism that would be something like you know, I was a subscriber for like six months, but what you said right there just lost me as a viewer. You have no idea what you're talking about. It's oh. like, it's the comments that it's like, you know, these people have a brain. It's not just the idiots who say mean things to say mean things. It's like, that's, those are the ones that hit me the most is those. And I'm just like, mm. I know they make you feel like a family member's leaving you exactly. or a friend doesn't want to be friends with you anymore. And I'm like, I don't even remember you, <laughs> but, but, but my feelings are hurt now. Exactly. That's how I feel. I think a lot of people don't realize just how sensitive the world is of, uh, of be of doing YouTube. Oh um, yeah. It's weird. You know, like it's important to not have an ego and it's also important to not get overly defensive. It's like someone will attack you, 
but then that's also like poking at your ego because then you want to get defensive and then your ego then then you get then if you get defensive then you get called out for being defensive yeah, <laughs> and it's exactly. like this this yeah sick I've, I've had my cycle. moments where i i comment back to a hate comment and then i keep coming back to it adding more and more and, <laughs> more and stuff but i i i just have to learn to kill them with kindness if they say something mean and it does hit me just be like all right i'm sorry i think you're doing great congrats on, uh, i know we've been talking for 20 minutes oh, but congrats sorry. on 300 000 subscribers by appreciate the way appreciate that man appreciate that i just you know the funny thing is about subscribers is back when you're starting you think subscribers is what's going to guarantee your like huge success but it's like it really is just kind of like a, a nice little starter of an audience to shoot out your video to but subscribers don't matter all that much as far as like views and, and, and retention and even financially on YouTube subscribers usually don't mean that much so I'm very happy I got 300,000 I would want more but I learned to stop being obsessed with that number because I was on like social blade all the time staring at my stats and seeing how many people would get on <laughs> YouTube? No, oh man, it fucks you up. Yeah. The, the, the on the on, on the YouTube phone. Oh, people yeah. might not know is like on on YouTube that they got the dashboard and you could. It's like if your if your view count goes up, like if you're averaging yeah. like thirty thousand. Like there was a time where it was like, oh damn, we're getting fifteen thousand views a video. That's great. But now our view count is expected to be higher because of what we've been getting the last few months. So now if we get like twenty thousand views, YouTube's yeah. like your video is <laughs> way that's, underperforming. That's <laughs> yeah. Horrible too that they added that feature that YouTube will literally say it to you. This video sucks, man. What did you do? <laughs> like it's not that aggressive, but they say people don't care about this video. Focus on what you did different or something and it's just like oh, i know youtube leave me alone but i'm like it's also a spider-man <laughs> video what did i do wrong that's the thing also you could talk about a, to a topic that's trending and then out of nowhere it just doesn't hit and you're like what i thought this was i thought this was a banger subject it's very easy to get like to seek validation oh, from yeah. like view count it's something that really messes with my my mental health uh, a lot if i'm being honest oh, yeah. I, and, and i think as you can attest if you're personally not feeling good or like positive or something i don't know mm -hmm. some type of good energy that that can translate into a video when you're on camera because oh, yeah. you do everything yourself right like you yeah don't, i don't do have a crew or, or an editor or anything like that I, I i did it all myself taught myself final cut and all that stuff um even then i still do like the bare basics of final cut and i try adding more stuff in there but yeah when, when it's all yourself it could be even more draining because i think to myself do i need an editor now am i at that level or do I, I need to hire someone else or how do people get sponsored? I still don't even know how people get sponsorships. I get lucky if I get an email of someone offering it, but I don't know how to seek them out. I'll refer someone to you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I just get emails. Oh, I, wow. I've never, I don't think I've ever sought one out personally. Oh, wow. I think they just wait for lucky someone to come. man right here. Ooh, they come to me. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. I got like boatloads of emails. Yeah. I got my first Raid nah. of Shadow Legends offer and I was like, whoa, guess I finally made it. <laughs> Don't read the comments on that. I video. know. That's <laughs> a, I did. Yeah, I was debating it. What would you say though is like your real passion though? Uh, okay, let's talk about like film wise. Yeah. Like, do, is do you want to go beyond YouTube? Do you want to do like? Is, like the fact that you can make these intros on your own oh, is pretty impressive. So <laughs> yeah, do you want to do your I own films or something? I wish you could see the editing involved. It's not that impressive. But um, it looks impressive. Thanks, man. I yeah. appreciate that a lot. You'd be surprised that I actually filled them up with my phone, a lot of those green screen intros. Um, mm -hmm. I went through the phases. I was a little kid like who was fascinated with like Jim Carrey and was like, I want to be the funny guy. I want to be an actor and find out how hard it is to get in that world, especially if you live in Texas, nowhere near the Hollywood game, hmm. then I was like, okay, I'll be a director or I'll be a writer. Or I'll be something in Hollywood and ended up with, with YouTube. And what I would like is is short films. I would I would like to try short films, whether, you know, just, just to see if I have it in me. I, I'm not trying to go artsy or, or black and white, character driven. I just like it to be entertaining. <laughs> you know, I, I know I can never make like a David Fincher movie or something like that, but if I could make you laugh, I'd be happy with that. I feel like you should set out to make a David Fincher <laughs> movie and then get all I get a whole bunch of unintentional laughter <laughs> throughout. <laughs> that should that should be your dream right there. What I love about what you do is, it's like uh, I mean I know it's like obviously hopping around like the franchise big ones, MonsterVerse, superheroes, yeah. uh, but you also seem to have a big love. I mean, you don't seem it's apparent you have a big love for horror oh, as yeah. well that's kind of the them horror peeps is what got my channel going but i've loved horror since i was a kid you know i was lucky enough to have a dad that i didn't even know movies were rated r and restricted and only certain ages could see them until like i was like 15 when i wanted to go see a rated mm. r movie and i couldn't or whatever 
Uh, my dad was always cool about letting me see those kind of movies. He would just always give me a, a small pep talk before the movies, like, okay, well, we're about to watch. Not appropriate. Don't ever do this in real life. Now enjoy. Like, it, it, was, it was always like that, which was nice. And obviously I haven't, and haven't killed no one. But <laughs> it was we'll see about great. that. <laughs> and it's also an underserved, I think, I don't want to call it like a market, but that's how I think in terms of YouTube and business-wise is uh, there are a lot of good horror channels out there, but I didn't think there was any light-hearted fun channels a lot of the hard channels out there were very dark and serious and you know real critiquey and i don't know i just wanted to add some fun to it <laughs> what would you say like your top horror movies are horror, okay so like scream uh nightmare on elm street and uh, child's play this is bare basic i'm not gonna say psycho you, you see <laughs> albert hitchcock's <laughs> hidden movie <laughs> <laughs> yeah see this deep cut movie that you might not have it's heard of german before? you you wouldn't know about it <laughs> yeah you wouldn't have it <laughs> exactly but you touched on something that i i wonder if we identify with was like one of your main ways to bond with your father oh, yeah, uh yeah. growing up was 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 that was it movies yeah movies and my dad my dad is responsible for the movie knowledge I got in my head. You know, he he actually worked at Blockbuster, uh, you know, back when that was a thing. Mm -hmm. And it, it was during, like, the transitioning from VHSs to DVDs. So, like, every other week he would come home with just, like, a box of VHS tapes. And I'd just be popping them in, seeing what was there. Or I remember, like, he would randomly, like, bring up a, a movie. He's, like, talking about Rocky. And he's like, oh, you haven't seen Rocky that same weekend he'd rent all the rocky movies we'd marathon them indiana jones all that so definitely owe a lot of credit to my dad for letting me get into this and all that and he's very happy this is what i do because uh, at first he wasn't happy when i told him i wanted to quit college to do this oh you see so you didn't go to college either to, to, to so i did i did my associate so i got my two year and then i i was like my first semester into like university big classroom then uh, auditorium mm. seating and a professor and I just couldn't do it. It, it. it didn't feel like me. I was like, this isn't for me. And luckily this worked out. If not, I'd be working like at a call center or something like that. My dad and I, that was the main thing we could talk really? about was movies. And he was kind of similar to what you're saying is like he, I was not censored. Oh, nice. Like, uh, I, 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 can I ask how old you are? Uh, I'm 26. 26. Oh man, <laughs> I'm thirty. You're thirty. I feel so. Oh, it's only uh, four year difference. It's oh. not that bad. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> you, you see, say when you're four years older, you'll know what yeah, I mean. Yeah, I guess. So. So. <laughs> I'm already panicking that my twenties so, are almost gone. I'm like, damn. <laughs> You seem like a bit of an anxious individual, if I'm being really? honest. Really? Okay. I am. <laughs> I, yeah. Well, I, it's something that I'll notice on camera. Like, I'll see you, like, I'm like, he's got the leg shake going. Oh, he's yeah. Got the leg I, shake I'm horrible going. at yeah. that, though. Yeah. I, I got, I, oh, yeah. is the, my leg shake obvious on camera? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I feel like I'll notice it because I'll notice when I'm editing myself doing it or noticing when I'm editing John doing it. I don't <laughs> That's know why. why. I think yeah, I, I have it, that. Yeah. I've had people back when you could sit next to strangers at a theater. I've had an old lady tell me, can you stop that? Where my leg is just shaking next oh, to them. Really? And I guess the vibration is carrying over to her seat. And mm -hmm. Yeah, like I just do it unconsciously. I don't even know, but I guess I am anxious. You're my therapist, Greg. <laughs> that's, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to go on YouTube and do, ther do be therapy for everyone here. But yeah, I mean, like with my, with my dad, um, yeah, I think Scream, I remember um, I, I would go, I must have been like six oh. years old or something. Every Sunday after church, I grew up Catholic. Uh, wow. We would get, oh, we would get, uh, hell yeah! I mean, heavens, yes. Uh, <laughs> we're not, not Catholic now. <laughs> we, we, we grew up. You see how I took that guess? <laughs> <Yeah. and> <laughs> you could just feel it, right? Every Sunday after church, I would just put on Scream in the living room. And we had a VHS tape of it. I must have been six years old. So yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't a censored guy at all. So I always think of like that Tarantino interview where he was like losing his shit on that one lady <laughs> <laughs> over like, because it's cool, Jan. Oh, that, cool. Yeah, that's, that's what would you say? Somebody like your favorite uh, filmmakers are. Uh, I mean, I, I really enjoyed Wes Craven, uh, Dave, David Fincher, like I was mentioning. I always hate when I get put on the spot because I feel like it's like it's like determining You're my personality. Of who, my favorite director. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> my yeah. Point, I feel like, oh. Don't say Michael Bay now. <laughs> Just if you make a good movie, I I, I like yeah. Um, I get like, Edgar Wright is one I get excited for. Like I try to think of the directors that it doesn't matter what the movie's about if they're attached. I'm like, oh, I want to see that. So if you had, do you have any? If I I no, I have no favorite filmmakers. Uh, 
they oh, all wow. suck <laughs> in my opinion <laughs> uh, no i mean i i've always i mean yeah i, I think maybe just because of like where i grew up and growing up on tarantino he's always been like one of my favorites yeah uh i'm like i'm like the the cliche answers scorsese david fincher the usual. When uh, Nicholas Winden Refn gets it right, I'm really into that, though. Drive is one of my all-time favorite movies. And when I used to smoke cigarettes, it was because I would watch Ryan Gosling smoke cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> I was very much influenced by that, man. There's a lot of things movies influence us because of Back to the Future. I only wear Nikes. <laughs> Just because he made them look so cool, and now you only smoke cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> Two very <laughs> positive influences. <laughs> I'd say the Nike is pretty damaging to your health, though. You might you might want to step back from the Nikes. <laughs> Would you ever want to go into acting yourself? Because you're pretty comfortable on camera. Yes, but I I need to shed a few pounds or something. Get get my teeth fixed or something. Yeah, <laughs> I, I used to think I was the handsomest man online, and then. I scroll through TikTok for a little bit, and there's just way more beautiful people out there. So it's, we're going back to the comparing thing. I feel like we both have this. Yeah, we have this struggle with compare. What's your ethnicity, by the way? I am Mexican, hundred percent. No mixing. I'm a pure blood Mexican. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Don't fuck with me. <laughs> yeah. Chihuahua in my veins. That's and are you the only one who actually like pursued? something to do with film uh yeah the rest of the family oh, i'm the oldest so the rest of them is barely graduating high school figuring out their lives and stuff so i'm the i'm the only one is it like a big fan um, usually the cliches mexican families are huge yeah it, it it is big and i have like split because my parents divorced i had another cliche to the list <laughs> so <laughs> the mexicans yeah, always like... getting divorced yeah <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah so like I, I have some on my mom's side my dad's side and stuff but still the oldest and yeah all of them are still so yeah I'd say like in total uh five siblings oh wow do any of them ever yeah. like come to you hoping to get into youtube themselves and maybe ask you for some advice no if anything i'm the one encouraging them just because like i think even though like I'm a movie channel, if they have an aspiration, like I have some sisters, if they wanted to get like in the makeup or I don't know, dress up, I don't know what the girls really want to do, but I <laughs> Put know on the makeup system and <laughs> <laughs> I know I know the system and the algorithm well enough to if they tell me what they want to do, I could be like I could get you there, I can make you some money. Took five years, but I'll get you there. Oh, what? you've been doing this for five years? Yes, channel started in in two thousand in April two thousand sixteen. Okay, so I actually just hit my five year anniversary. And then you saw like the momentum. I I discovered you during the pandemic, and I feel like really I feel like you had. What was the first video you saw of me? How did you find me? I always think that's funny to find out. How uh, people find me. I. My God, I don't maybe Spider Man related. <laughs> I'd have been watching you for so I've been probably. watching you for a, for a while. I, I usually listen to people Thanks, like I rarely watch the videos. And then one day, I like I started watching you. <laughs> I, I, watch I just watched. I, just, you. I didn't even listen. <laughs> I just watched. Watch. That's funny. I haven't even mentioned it, but I've actually been a real rejects fan way back. Like how long? How old is your channel now? Is it? Past the 10 year or is it close to the 10 years? Close to. We did, we started, uh, I think, right at the end of 2012. My earliest memory of your channel, and I hope I'm not getting it wrong. That'll be so embarrassing. Because I think you made like a rap disc or you made a, uh, I, I don't know if I remember that correctly. I felt like you made a some rap song and I just remember like, I thought it was a reaction channel. <laughs> I just remember, see, am I right or is, am I making that? Oh, uh, no. When I was going by the, like, the Rye Wright days uh, that I was, like, just fucking around with, like, as I, I, re I write a lot of poetry, <laughs> but I don't know how to rap. And I, and I have, like, an ex sometimes I, I make the mistake of experimenting on camera without really testing the waters prior so i'll just be like yeah let me just translate some poetry to some songs but i didn't know how to i at the time i didn't even know how to hit on a beat it was like so but my first hey it was bold man it was bold i remember i watched it and i was like oh he could do more than react yeah he could kind of rhyme i guess <laughs> i i wrote a, a a one that was like a ryan gosling rap song about and it's just pretty much a hardcore homoerotic about me just <laughs> wanting to have sex with Ryan Gosling. That's just like the whole song right there. <laughs> then I did like some wow. serious shit after that, but the, <laughs> then like a reactor diss one. Eventually I learned how to get on beat, yeah. but I was like, what am I doing? I don't want to do this. I'm not this guy. <laughs> yeah. I want to get back into my passions and but stuff. But it's like funny, that. that's how like a YouTuber thinks, because even now, I think a lot like with YouTube is I always have to pivot or I have to do something new and fresh. You know, I, can't, I don't feel like people will always want to hear me 
uh, talk the news or anything like that. Maybe they will, but like I, I've thought about like, what if I do some like parody songs? Maybe, maybe I can mm. learn. So maybe one day you'll see me embarrass myself. <laughs> what I'd like to see you do is like do a complete full on sketch, which is really hard to do, and you need help. Because yeah. like, yeah, babe, we've done. It's been a long time since we've done like a full on sketch. None of them have ever gotten like crazy views, but the response is always like. So like we did one for I think the last full on sketch was probably our Avengers Endgame intro or oh really or was it a Jigs we did one that was a, a Saw parody that fucking oh. took a lot of work uh, but yeah. <laughs> was it worth it in the, in the end for views uh, not for views but for the people who <laughs> saw it they they quite yeah, enjoyed they it, loved it. <laughs> that and I but I feel like that's that's a little bit more of what I want I don't know any that's the thing is like with an art. It's weird because now there are kids who who grow up like my fiance works at a school and there are kids who grow up now who who are like, I want to be a YouTuber. And I'm that is, and, yeah. and I don't know about when I was growing up like I I, didn't, I wasn't I don't want I, uh, this wasn't a career one, option. This, I got like, I'm very lucky. I mean, I remember being in middle school and seeing like the early YouTube videos and stuff like that thinking this is cool. I never thought. I'd actually be one myself. Who are like some of the YouTubers that you actually uh, watch? Like, who would you say you watch uh, regularly? Like now or regularly? See, that's another thing with me, and, I, and it's probably shallow for admitting it. Once I started doing YouTube, I got very selective with who I watched because I was just like, I'd get mad at myself. Like, like I like I like new rock stars, and I like watching them. I think Eric Voss is cool and all. Sometimes I just watch their Easter egg videos, and sometimes I do Easter egg videos. I'm just like, oh, how is they're so good? They have a whole team and yeah. everything. And I just I get more mad than entertained. So I tend to watch stuff that is like way out of like the movie zone, just like a, a podcast or two or anything like that. Oh, like who? I don't know if I want to say. Like I enjoy H three H three, but then sometimes they just get real controversial or real uh, real <laughs> real saucy, where it's like can't really associate myself with that oh I that's, and that's another fear i have man in in this era of being canceled is like i'm always where i don't want to make an apology video i don't ever want to say something to offend anybody or hurt anybody and i don't know why i always have that fear but i'm never i don't have any like <laughs> malice thoughts or anything like that oh no i understand what you mean i completely but, get but that. i hate drama I don't, I don't want to ever be part of drama i don't ever want to be making a video about somebody or someone make a video about me once in a while like i'll do the the vain thing in like Google on that YouTube, my name, and hmm. I put like recently update uploaded, and like a couple weeks ago, I had like just this random eight year old make a video about how I was the worst YouTuber ever. What? And I just watched. That. <laughs> yeah, I was like this, re- but like his reasons were so like unfound, and I don't want. That's why like I didn't even want to like something I'd never respond to or anything like that, and I don't want to blame the kid. He has his opinions, but he was like, I said, you know, the the mask. Uh, and other member like Pennywise will be in Space Jam 2 and he just did not believe me he's like that makes no sense why are they in there 3C Films is a liar <laughs> and stuff like that and, I, and I'm just like oh, okay well that's interesting <laughs> but like I, I fear something like that happening someday you know where it's just like 3C Films is the worst channel ever and here's why and it's like a I don't know a 25 year old man talking about <laughs> yeah 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 i mean i've had my days of youtube drama and i, I don't i don't really? like it either i i mean i i really yeah i hate it and then if i ever person like i remember oh it was, it was one of those news articles about uh like this wasn't like a personal drama one that i was involved with but there was like when i covered a dramatic story it was Robert Pattinson is a diva on set and is thinking and like him and Matt Reeves are, <laughs> and, uh, and, and like he lied about catching uh, uh, the virus right that, that that was the that was the, the click yeah. and then of course like immediately I did it there's dislikes and people are like why are you covering this but I'm like but if you watch the video the whole time all we're doing is making fun of how ridiculous yeah. this is and, awesome. and and how people will do there are channels who will do serious videos about this and i'm like yeah. this is the stupidest thing in the world why are people taking this seriously <laughs> yeah and and that's more of my like uh my angle on it you seem like you're a pretty you seem like you try to keep a positive head on your shoulders is there is there anything yeah, you like, do I, to try to like i'll still be negative and i'll say my honest opinion on, on stuff i never want to be positive just to like always be positive because i think then that's just as bad as always being negative um but i'll also if I know something's bad, sometimes I just don't want to spend the whole video being mad or angry about it because I still 
there's that karma factor. There's still directors, are actors, people who worked on it that I feel bad for to like. Now I've gotten to a level where sometimes if I make a video about an upcoming movie or something, I'll be lucky enough to get an email from like someone involved that's like, hey, thanks for talking about my movie. That's really nice of you. And that's just that pressure that they could be watching and I could be saying something mean. <laughs> gets <to> me. <laughs> I feel like you were such an influential movement with the Willy's Wonderland. I think oh, you, like I had no idea about that movie until you started talking about it. <laughs> and, and it got That was it, really fun to be a part of and that was so so sweet that I got to uh, to do all that and that was a lot of fun in that community but that was another thing where like drama will start off where people think I'm being paid to promote it or I was a plant by a company who was created and they started <laughs> on my channel and stuff like it's just so funny what people come up with for that when I just like I just thought it was a cool sounding movie and in the end I had fun with it what do you do to make like it's just, I know this is a lot of commitment that you have to do and I appreciate you taking the time to talk to me for so long oh, right now no problem, man. yeah if news pops right now I'm ditching you I'm going like <laughs> yeah. crazy. My, <laughs> Spider-Man trailer bye <laughs> I, 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 I ditch you too <laughs> <laughs> right. just do it together right here yeah. alright that'll blow up man um, uh, that'd be fun to do sometime if we actually just like figured out a way to like do I've a trailer had moments where it's really sad where like news happens and I have to drop everything I was doing I remember um when they finally confirmed Sonic the Hedgehog 2, which is, you know, a, f a, mo a movie and a fan base I, I like being a part of, um, I was at my girlfriend's house. We were going to have dinner, and I was just like, I'm going to go to your dad's closet and record a video <laughs> real quick. <Yeah. laughs> and I did that, and it was so embarrassing because, like, I feel like I turned into Gollum uh, from Lord of the Rings. My precious, I'm just like trying to rush to get this edited and say my things. It's a like, quiet down over there. <laughs> <laughs> I completely feel you on that. Like it's, it's like for us, obviously it's like if a, if a big trailer comes out, like that's where we're, oh, we're known yeah. for. And I can't tell you how many times I've had to be like, like kind of the, the only position I'm in, like what you talked about earlier with uh, your, your, uh, like, hey, you don't have to be first to stuff. The only yeah. thing I don't have to be first to anymore is like a, a big trailer. I could be late to those and still like climb I up there. And I'm, <laughs> so that's, I'm the, that's the only thing I got, man. <laughs> Everything else, I'm like, I got, I got to be way on top of it. And sometimes I'm, yeah. I'm earlier than you. And you'll, you'll like, I feel like there's still audiences will still be like, no, I go to them for this. I go to them for this. I go to them for this. But I completely know the embarrassment of, having to leave a friend's place and that's part of the anxiety of, of doing this yeah. is is your i guess that's why i've been talking so much about mental health shit for some reason when talking <laughs> <No>. about it because <laughs> uh, there is a big anxiety that does come with like this came out i had no idea it was coming out and now i got to cover this yeah. uh, it's like and because i think i think what could happen it can feel like you got these people who are just like sitting around it, it's like this is not a conscious thought but it could feel like there are people just sitting around waiting for you to yep. cover this when i'm like that's not, the, that's, not, that's, not, that's not the reality no of the situation that much. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's like the ego of a, of a youtuber it's like it's like they're waiting for they need to know my yeah, they, they need this is important for them <laughs> you know but, but it's like no this is this is just your own mind <laughs> exactly this is what i mean this is it's like when i listen to conan o'brien interview like other comedians and they only talk about comedy i'm like this is what i think this is what gonna be my interview <laughs> series is we're only gonna talk about youtube just or something talk, like talk that. YouTube. <laughs> but i and i think that's kind of like uh because you do find that weird community of i think there's a lot when it comes to youtubing and, and not even during this discussion but I, I've noticed with like a lot of people is there's a lot of complaining and I'm part of that too. You know, you complain about algorithm, yeah. you complain about views, oh, yeah. you complain about why is this person getting views and I'm not getting views and stuff. And that, that's kind of what bonds us. I mean, have you been to like a VidCon or anything like that yet where you I met like not, a bunch I, of YouTubers? I'd, I'd love to. I don't. I, is that something you get invited to or you just show up? Like, I don't <laughs> even know how that works. Do they call me or I call them? VidCon's a great place to uh, test your ego if you have it. <laughs> like when you uh, meet people who are way bigger than you and stuff like exactly. that. <laughs> now I'm getting fear of fame from another platform where I'm trying to master the TikTok game. <laughs> you know, like mm -hmm. and I, it's a very growing gr uh, demographic and there's an opportunity for money there. Where, I mean, so little, but... <clears throat> I'm trying my best and then there's people like on TikTok right now movie people that are like huge on there 
that are like nothing on YouTube. You know what I mean? But it's still that mm-hmm. like that wanting to master the market of like having a good Twitter following, having a good presence on YouTube, and then also getting TikTok. It's like you could really overwhelm yourself. Do you, do you try expanding out with as long as you've been on the platform? I, I thought was. there was like a guy imperson- impersonating you on TikTok or something. <laughs> Are we still doing it? <laughs> I haven't been able to stop him. Yeah, I, I, I'm always being told I should. You know, like when it was Instagram and Twitter, you got to get Instagram and Twitter blowing up. Now it's like TikTok, and and argu- arguably I, I oughta. But the thing is, is like after this was always supposed to be a stepping stone. In fact, I, I never, um, I never thought like you could. I, I still have a screenshot of it, of the first year and a half of doing YouTube. I didn't set up AdSense. And then I was like, oh, you got to set up this thing called AdSense. And (laughs) and then (laughs) I remember making like my first 50 cents because the long story short is John and I had started this channel together, but he was going to college. So eventually he was pretty much like he was gone. (laughs) (laughs) And then I I had to just take the reins because I wasn't going to college and I was working 40 hours a week and then just doing this. And then so I was like, well, it's got to be a way to at least like replace the income on with YouTube. I didn't realize you could make like actual money on YouTube, but it was always supposed to be a stepping stone was like, I've always wanted to get it. But but then this takes up so much time and then you start, you know, finding success here and then validation and all these things that arguably you should be finding from within and not from external validation when youtube started going I, it was like skyrocketing for me and then it's, it started going down for me and then i found my passion again for writing and then i started nice. going places with that and then youtube started picking back up again oh, wow. <laughs> and i just and even though it's been doing so great lately i haven't been as active with what i really want to do so i find that i can get you, you seem like you're kind of like a you dive into stuff and yeah. i don't uh I can get distracted really easily. And I'm like, and now if I start pursuing TikTok or other shit, then I'm going to... Oh, I get you. I'm I'm definitely not going to pursue what I want to do. Yeah, yeah. yeah, To me, it's just get as many eyeballs as I can out there on my channel. Because I I still have the fear of like 300K. This is my full-time living for like two years now. Thanks to this, Mm. I'm able like to, to... move into a house now it just blows my mind that youtube provided that for me congratulations uh, thanks man and i still fear it's going to go away tomorrow i still have that fear that i'm gonna wake up and they add a new rule where i can make like a third of what i make now or something or they cut my monetization or i there's another funnier great cringy intro youtuber that pops up that <laughs> takes all my audience with them like that's that's just always a fear in the back of my head did you grow up uh f- did you financially st- did your family struggle with money uh, we were always up? uh middle class like yeah we we struggled but like food was always on the table i i was able to have a phone i got to do most regular things there were sometimes i couldn't do stuff because of money but for the most part like i had about an average life so i was never like i never want to say like i was poor but there were struggles. <laughs> it's so weird to say. I wasn't poor, Greg. <laughs> I wasn't a, wasn't a peasant. <laughs> Come on. No. I mean, I, I have mean, that definitely fear. YouTube has like gotten me to a point where it's like, what am I supposed to do with this? Like, am I supposed to get into stocks now? Am I supposed to like get a Roth IRA or right, something? Right. I don't even know. I just got a Roth IRA. <laughs> just because I mean, I feel like you got to because yeah. we don't have like a 401k or anything like that. You, you got to like exactly. figure out how to save. And yeah, that was my health problem. insurance because it's like YouTube doesn't provide that and, and whatnot. And so it's like, I, I hope you're saving, man. <laughs> no, I am. Gotta, I, I'm not I'm not going crazy. I'm not getting a Tesla anytime soon or anything like that. I blew really? because YouTube, there's a PewDiePie thing with the. I don't know that. I still call it the PewDiePie thing, but that's not exactly what it was. When I, the, I think I remember. All the money was pulled out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Adpocalypse is what they called yeah. it. Um, I wasn't a YouTuber then, but I was in the game listening to everybody about the around that time. It fucked us up. Uh, <laughs> weird. Because cause like income just like shot down like 90% and wow. it was t- terrifying and I didn't save anything yeah, i didn't wow. i had no savings it was scary this fear that you're talking about it's weird it's like you want to you want to get you, you have this anxiety and this rush and you want to you want to climb and you want to get the views up and make the money and you got to be good on camera all this stuff yeah 
And then when you start getting there, then it becomes, now I'm afraid I'm going to lose it all. I'm afraid it's all going to collapse. I'm going to fall apart. Yeah. <laughs> and so it's a fear of, am I going to get there? Or is it a fear that I'm going to lose it? It's like, and I, and, it, and so as I find myself, I'm often living in, in fear. I mean, do you yeah. kind of have that feeling too? Yeah. Oh, I have it all the time. And I'm like scared uh, uh, about it also. Like it shouldn't be scared. It's like one of the most free, nice jobs out there. But like, I don't. People think, you know, like I get to sleep in all day or just lay down all day. Like, no, I'm constantly stressing about what the next video is, what the next content is to, to, to make and, and, and whatnot. And I mean, during 2020, it was hard because there was barely anything going on in the movie sphere. You really had to dig to make stuff happen. And I think you made it happen. Yeah, like, like I said, like I really started, <laughs> I started watching you mainly like <laughs> Thanks, uh, a lot more dur during 2020, which was like mightily impressive to see how well you... <laughs> It was envious, man. That was oh, fucking no. impressive as shit. All these questions have been gold. Have they? Are we think? Are we talking too yeah, much about know. YouTubing? I feel like that's kind of maybe, like, <laughs> maybe, like yeah. fuck it. That'll be our thing. For a <laughs> yeah, bit. it's like fuck it. Let's. Okay. Let's. I think they like it. I mean, it's just like an honest conversation about the anxieties of doing this. Oh, yeah. Is what I'm. I'm just trying to find like background. <laughs> I don't want to like dive too much into your, you know, your past and your your upbringing. No, you all that. go ahead, man. Are, were you abused as a kid? <laughs> 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 uh, just a regular spanking and chonkla from my mom, but that's about it. Was your mom someone who uh, frowned upon? you? you going into this you said your, oh, said your dad man. did it he was like into movies was your mom. my dad was more of the silent brute when i told him when it was like you know i told him and he was like okay let's see how it goes <laughs> and my mom was the tears the, 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 that was the sad one she was crying i was i remember it was christmas day <laughs> we went to starbucks because it was the only place open and i wanted somewhere to like tell her and then I just opened up to her, and I was like, Mom, I've been lying to you for the past six months. I have not been in college. Oh, like, those past six wow. months. <laughs> yeah. Those, she's always like, so how's college? How's everything? You, you paying your rent? You getting your work done? And I'm always like, yeah, class is good. Finance is done. Oh, all that's great. And I was doing YouTube, and um, I wasn't getting paid for it at that time. I was just doing it for the hell of, uh, hell of it as a hobby, hoping it would turn to something. But anyways. Yeah, I told her. She cried. It was really upset about it. Didn't wow. Because you have to, from their point of view, it was like they brought me here for a better life, and I was supposed to be the college graduate. You know, in their mind, is if you don't have a degree, you're going to end up homeless in America, mm -hmm. which, like, even if I don't, if YouTube didn't work out, I feel like there's something I could do out there where I don't need my degree, where I can, I'd be just fine if YouTube didn't work out. You know, it'd be a struggle, but I feel like I could do it. And so that's where they were real upset about that. But. I told them, give me a year, and if I can do it, I'll stick to it. If not, I'm, I'll go back to college, I promise, and I'm not in college. It's my husky back there, sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was like, is that a skunk back there? What the hell is going on? <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> what did you study in college, though, when you were there? I was doing marketing uh, and uh, business. Uh, so I feel like that's maybe why I, I was better better at YouTube than maybe a lot of people who try starting because I, I took it as a business mm -hmm. and I treated each video as a strategic move of growing mm -hmm. that business and like I also felt like I had a really good mastery of like uh, titles and thumbnails to where it's enticing but it wasn't clickbait if that makes sense yeah, yeah. that's one thing I didn't want to become is the clickbaiter I think you've done a great job on that man I, 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 I'm jealous of your thumbnails. I'm like, damn, look at that. Look at that son of Kong fucking thumbnail, man. That's, look how great that is. That a good thumbnail? I'm like, yeah, it looks like a. I think, is that a real poster? Where do you get that shit? <laughs> that's, like, that's so impressive. I was in uh, network marketing, the most loved part of business in the world. But what, oh, wow. I, what I learned from that was um, uh, the benefits of. If you could find a way to, to work from home and have your, uh, your oh, business yeah. from home, you'll rarely hear me refer to what I do as as a job. It's always been I'm running my own business, essentially. Oh, wow. I got the sense. I was like, I don't think this guy went to film school. I feel like he learned business or something. <laughs> I, <feel Thanks>. like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Phil seems like, a, very knowledge to film, don't seem like a guy who knows a way of producing. <laughs> <laughs> Realize that sense. No, I feel like you have that. Uh, you, you see, the way you talk about things, I'm like, I'm getting this business sense uh, Thanks, from man. you. And I also got to say, I love your hair. Watched a lot of Shark Tank. Yeah. <laughs> you also got the the cool little, one little curl going down your... 
Stop, stop. I hate when it does that. It was doing that the no, whole I time. Don't. I actually like it. I think I look cool, but I feel like if I did it on purpose, I'll look pretentious. You get in front of the mirror. <laughs> I've got my one curl right here, man. That didn't come down. <laughs> Can I ask about how long you and your girlfriend have been together? Yeah, so she got with me when I was... It's so funny because like she got that we're with like, me. That's it. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. We got together. We got together. I met her at the call center when I was doing YouTube, you know, as a hobby, not making a dime or a mm -hmm. cent, reviewing movies, thinking that was gonna make me blow up when there's a million channels reviewing movies. She was the one that always told me, "No, keep doing it, keep doing." Because I want, I quit like three times just because. It's so draining to make a video and spend hours on it to talk to fifty people online mm -hmm. and. Most of those views are you just like refreshing, checking back to see what the view count is. <laughs> she was with me from like when it blew up to like now being able to move to a house. So f f the five years, basically. Damn, it's a good amount of yeah. time, man. She's loyal. Yeah, a good amount of time. yeah she is. And now she gets to reap all the rewards. <laughs> Does she worry you'll get too famous? Start cheating on no. her? She doesn't have that no. fear? <laughs> no. No, she knows I would. Look, look at my room. <laughs> I know she. It's, it's mainly just you on your channel. Do you want to like ever do yeah. collabs with guests or anything like that? I do, but I get it. Maybe that's just me being. Seen. I'm I'm picky because I, I have noticed. You know, even there's people I like, like you, or, or like I have a a friend named Austin Burke. He also has a YouTube channel. I know. I, I know well, Austin. You know, or heavy spoilers, Kevin. But like, I noticed with those collab videos. The retention isn't there. They'll they'll severely go down just because it's like inviting a new person in bed. They just don't like it or something. And hmm. so like I get I get real picky about bringing people on my channel, but I I, I want to I want to because I think it's fun. So you're not gonna invite me on your channel? Is what you're telling not me? Not a chance, Greg. <laughs> John, maybe. John, maybe. Maybe John. <laughs> I'm not no, I, I I will, but I I just don't know how to incorporate it. What's like. Because with breaking news, I'm just like, I got to call Greg. Okay, <laughs> yeah. so can you get on a camera right now? <laughs> it's like, so how would I? I can't, man. I'm I covering this myself right now. I can't. <laughs> exactly. I'll just wait for your video to come up, and then I'll just talk about your video. <laughs> yeah. That's our collab. But it's so, it's, it's, that's like the bizarre part of what we do is like, I'll weirdly get more views. I, I could do the same amount of commentary I do when I'm talking about what you're talking. Like if I cover a 3C films video, I'll get like I'll get the uh, I could get the same amount of commentary in there that I want to get in if we didn't do a reaction. Yet, mm -hmm. way more people will watch <laughs> that reaction really? video than they I will. I was scared when whenever you first messaged me and said, "Hey, we like your stuff. Would would you mind if we react?" I'm like. You're gonna kill your channel, man. But go ahead. <laughs> no, nah, man. I, I, <laughs> I'm glad it's going good. Like with the Flash logo, when you did that, I was like, I heard there's a logo out, and he did a whole video about it. He's got to have something <laughs> interesting to say there, right? <laughs> I was That's like, That's also Holy my freaking, my freaking <laughs> powers being able to turn some 10 second thing into a whole damn video. I just, I'm just a huge blabbermouth. What do you do when you're not YouTubing, though? Like, what's your life like? I know it's easy to be addicted to your phone and researching and all that. But oh, like, yeah. oh, yeah. So I'll, I'll always be on my phone looking for the next big story <laughs> or something. But other than that, really, it, right now, it's it's gym trying to control my weight because I've gotten I gotten a little out of hand with the eating and stuff like that mm. before. So before I, I was doing YouTube, I was actually like working at like a, a, a learning center where you help kids with homework and whatnot. Oh, and wow. That required me to be, be on my feet for like eight hours. Mm -hmm. So like I was I was I was a pretty squidward looking dude you know that <laughs> had some squidward photo turned youtube full-time and i just stayed sitting here looking at youtube videos all day and that it got worse so it's mainly the gym right now but it's not going so great because <laughs> i don't so... change my eating habit <laughs> it's so funny how much you sh the shit you say that i'm like man i can <laughs> I completely. I, I think I just wanted to talk to you first to identify with you. <laughs> I just need someone to confide in. <laughs> because that happened with me. Like, uh, really? I mean, I was a re receptionist at a doctor's office. Oh, nice. And uh, yeah, awesome. Uh, everyone loves going to the doctors. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> always, they always want to say hi in a really upbeat manner. <laughs> then I was doing YouTube like 30 hours a week. And so, uh, and then you just. You never have time to exercise. So you could literally, if you go to like the oldest video of the real rejects, you could just watch me gain weight. And I like gained a 
bunch of weight and then I got all the fat comments and then I eventually lost like 30 to 40 pounds. So I'm at that. Wow. I still stay around that weight now because yeah, people can be fucking mean on YouTube when it comes to your weight. Yeah, yeah. And it's not even for that. It's just, I just, I have to look at myself when I edit and then just to look at this double chin, it's just kind of like. I want that gone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's it, the fact that you're like comfortable enough to talk about it, though, I think is usually the first step I in being able to, to be. lose weight. Yeah. Is there anything you do in terms of like, I call it like personal development. Like, like for me, I have to exercise and meditate at least that's, like a few times a I'm week. I'm glad you brought that up because I, that, I need to fix that, you know, because that's, that's something I'm always telling to my partner. You know, luckily now that I'm able to keep her as a provider and she could just be at home. It's like one of the things I told her that I believe in is like you can be at home and, and I'm happy with that. And you don't have to be the cook or the laundry or anything like that. I just don't want you to stop progressing yourself as a person. So like a, a book or learn a, a new skill or something like that. So that that is something I always want to like. I tried really hard to learn. Like, I don't know if you know what Blender is like that to make like CGI animated. Movies, oh, yeah, like yeah, Pixar yeah. Shorts and stuff. Mm -hmm. I tried learning that for a sec. I, I couldn't do it. I tried learning After Effects a little better. I, I, I'm just like, I go to a skill to skill, but if it's too hard, I do let it go. So I, I need to be better about sticking with something. If not, I, I want to up my reading, but I think I'm going to do Audible, which is cheating. <laughs> <laughs> I understand uh, the reading. I have a hard time reading fiction for some reason. It's weird. As a writer, oh, I have a hard time I'm reading the fiction. same way. I can't do science fiction. Like, I know Lord of the Rings is a great book and whatnot, but <laughs> I, I couldn't even like sit down and read the Harry <laughs> Potter books just because my imagination wasn't wasn't fully there I, I like more like true crime or, or grounded in reality stuff that's me too i try i got the book i was given the book dune like uh, a few months ago it's somewhere here and it's only like three pages open <laughs> it's, it's, it's like two to three pages to read. i'm like i don't know what the fuck is, i just read <laughs> like i don't know what it's even worse because they create not their own language but they have their own words and at the back of the book they have a dictionary for like the meaning of those words and i'm just like that's too much, right? <laughs> I, I feel bad because there's so much smart people out there that's like, oh, you idiot. It's not that hard. Well, kids, you heard it here first. To make it <laughs> yeah. in YouTube, you don't need to be able to read. <laughs> you can be illiterate and make it happen anyway, man. I mean, dude, I've... Have you enjoyed have you enjoyed talking with me, Chris? I'm oh, gonna ask yes, you like that. Greg, thank you, man. I hope people enjoyed this. I hope it wasn't me just whining and complaining. I'm super thankful for the position I'm in. And I want to make you guys more proud and entertain the masses but uh yeah i had a great time you're great i feel like we had a really good relaxing time i feel like this conversation is so beneficial way more for you and i than it will be for anyone who Probably. ever listens to this discussion ever. yeah if you made it this far and you're listening to this thank you it means a lot to both me and greg's retention time <laughs> what would you say i guess what i would say is like what what would you trying to add, phrase this in a way that doesn't sound super cliche to end this off with are you gonna make me give advice is that what you're about to make me do <laughs> yeah and maybe i'll be like fuck why haven't i applied that after all this time <laughs> no i mean it really is like you heard i feel like i'm just an average of guy I'm, there's nothing huge or special about me so like if you at all have an interest in youtube just like do it and like, you'd be surprised you know how far you can take it and how great of a community they could be out there it's it just really if you have a passion for something do it okay because like as much as i talk about like here where it's like i feel like it could go away at any time those other jobs i was talking about learning center at a call center those places they're now out of business and not working so they they were also just as unpredictable so why not do something like youtube or something that gives you some passion is that good or is that too cliche i could do it again greg no 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 <laughs> i think that was great I mean, I, I think you're right. Like, I, I would tell people, I've, I've told people before that if, I feel like as long as you s find ways to stay true to yourself, because it takes, I think it takes some work getting used to just being comfortable and being yourself on camera. Like, it can oh, be yeah. something Go back that, to my early videos. It's horrible. I, I sound so forced. That's, that's the thing is, and even for someone like, like what I envy about people like, a lot of people I admire or watch is that, and I want to kind of reshift this for the real rejects sorry. is that we're doing like, <laughs> sorry. Uh, I don't even know why I said sorry. I just, just said sorry. <laughs> like, you're just so polite. You're just going to apologize for no reason. <laughs> I think I'm sorry for saying sorry. 
I think uh, you find stuff to do and you don't put out videos every single day. You you do them like when you find something that really hooks you. And then for me, I've, I've kind of gotten caught in the trap of feeling like I got to put out shit like every single day when I'm more like, I kind of want to pedal this back a little bit, especially after like the months have been so good to us. And then like the past three to four days have not been good, for, that great for us. So I'm like, but I don't like this feeling of feeling like I just got to do st- so you can get kind of yeah it's easy to feel like you're just going through the motions instead of feeling the enthusiasm and passion of actually filming and stuff and uh, i don't like i hate that feeling and then sometimes i gotta like step away for like a day or two so i could find that feeling again so i kind of want to do a little bit more of what you're doing which is like i feel like doing this so i'm gonna do it as opposed to i gotta put something out i just gotta put something (laughs) you know (laughs) because that that could be the trap i fall into uh easily so guys don't seek validation just be yourself uh, take it from two people who are seeking validation and compare right. themselves to others all the time <laughs> I really Some hope life. this was entertaining for people I hope it I mean I feel like it's real it's personable yeah that's and, why they uh, call it yeah. the real rejects yeah credits <laughs> 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 All right. Thank you, Chris, for doing this, man. This was seriously a blast, dude. No, thank, thank you. you for having me, Greg. I really appreciate you, man. And thank you, guys. Subscribe to 3C Films. You haven't done so already. He's uh, doing so much better than than heavy spoilers. <laughs> yes, he can yes, suck yes. A... I hate heavy spoilers. Uh, I told him. Uh, I'm going to hit him up. <laughs> <laughs> I saw your tweet. I'd, be like, I'd pay for that. <laughs> I'd watch that. <laughs> you could have his wife go up against your girlfriend and then you... you there you, you go. You, is this name? I keep calling him Paul. Is it, Paul I, I don't know where people... Kevin's spoilers came from. He decided, yeah, that imposter. Uh, I I sometimes <laughs> message him and I'm like, am I saying the right name? Am I being a dick about this? <laughs> uh, all right, Chris. Thanks for being yeah. here, man. I'll I'll hit you up in text. Yes. Peace, guys. <laughs>